G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works. Um, if you've been a follower of my channel, you've noticed that I've come to the collection a few times here in Canberra. But um, if you're new to the channel, if you can subscribe and like my videos, it keeps the channel going. So today I'm at the National Collection again in Canberra, but I'm going to do something different. Not just a tour of the trees, but I'm going to look at individual trees and explore the best characteristics of the tree, why it's so good, and why it should be in the collection and on display, and so on. I think it would be a good insight to why I like these bonsai, which bonsai is my favourite, etc., and the reasons why. Usually the tour is too quick. This time I'm going to spend some time individually each tree and do a couple, probably a couple of videos of part, part one, part two, part three, etc., on the collection. Um, and hopefully you get some insight into some of these trees. So let's get going. So here's the collection on a Saturday morning. Let's go have a closer look at some of these trees. So I thought I'd do my first part in this series on maples in the collection. Now this is a trident maple by Lynn Farrell of Tasmania, starting in 1944. It's a magnificent pot. Let's start with the pot. Magnificent pot with the trunk of the tree. Really nice combination, I think. Beautiful. Looks Japanese, of course. Probably a Kobe Koi, I'm not sure, but it looks stunning. Now, let's talk about the trunk. Very old, very good Nabari, very wide, very, very all the way around, pretty much. Nice pockets of, you know, roots here, roots there, and nicely moves around. Big aged tree, very aged trunk, extremely good. Now, look closely, you can see the flaking bark, as well as the non-flaky bark and you can see how they protrude out making your bulges really really nice now let's go into the branching or as we move up the tree you can see the branching on the tree i think it just needs a bit more development i mean it's a little bit should be much more ramification could have had some dieback maybe i'm not sure why white's um yeah it's starting to you know shoot out in, in spring you can see some of the really long shoots already um, but it looked like it had some dieback, or they purposely cut it back because it was getting too heavy at the top. So this tree, stunning trunk, stunning pot, matching the trunk really well. Old trunk tree. Branches are needing, you know, development, needing ramification, needing time to develop. Now, that's all it is. It's just, but it's a stunning trunk, stunning tree, but it needs to get to the next level, like a really, really amazing, needs all this to be fully, fully, fully ramified, like branching all in those gaps that's how i like to see my you know, that's my opinion <laughs> it's absolutely my opinion on how maples should look uh they shouldn't look like pines they should look like you know, deciduous full canopies so that's one of the maples here's a trident maple group by grant bowie started in 1957. Now, this is a really cool group because of a couple of a couple of features i mean it's really well put together group because all the trunks, I know the sun's not helping, but all the trunks vary in size with the most biggest and tallest, the thickest, as well as, you know, it's got the best, probably Navari in the little group. All the other ones are, you know, smaller than it. You can see that, see how the, see how the three or four in there are actually nice and, nice and medium size. And then they get smaller as they go out. And you see how small those little ones out on there. So how much smaller they are there and they come out to be smaller trees. Now one of the other things is I can reckon that variety is slightly different to this variety. So I think we've got multiple varieties in here so it should colour up very differently in the autumn time which I think I've seen this tree as different colouring at different times of the year. But really really good. The pot's pretty awesome too. It's a good pot to <laughs> it's a good pot to it's a good pot to um to, to have this group in, nice and wide, and cream colour really blends well, especially in autumn, and the tree will come up really well. So really nice to put together the group. The ramifications that going well, you know, it could could even get more ramification um, if 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 it's you know continually pinched out, etc., and trimmed out. So really good. Here's another wonderful group of Japanese maples this time, just coming into leaf. You can see how the, the droopiness of the leaves as they come out, but stunning as it's yellowy and red tips. Now again, wonderful arrangement with the biggest tree 
and the biggest trunk, the main tree, and everything surrounding it. Really, really nice. Smaller trees on the outside as you go. Planted on a slab, which is, I don't usually see maples on a slab because I reckon it will dry out very quickly. Um, so really, really got to be right on this. If, you're gonna, if the trees are going to survive, you've got to get, get that, keep that watered very well. Um, that's probably our only concern. Uh, ramification could improve, of course, with time, uh, but really nice. A few more smaller trees over here would be awesome too because it kind of ends with that medium-sized one and you can only see the little one at the back where the little ones are here. So we'd love to see some more smaller ones in this gap here. be nice. But very old. I love the whiteness of the trunks. Can you see the whiteness starting to happen on those trunks? Coming out really well. So very unusual to see a slab planted, but very nice. And that was by Arthur Robinson in... There you go. He passed away not long ago. Well, at this time of year, that was all the maples that were on show. Let's have a look at this Washington Thorn, created in Age of Trees 1971 by Mary Wilkinson. I remember Mary Wilkinson very well. So this is a nice group of um, hawthorns, pretty much. Nice group again. Nice clump style look, which is a bit different to forest. And I really like this clump, actually. Very naturally looking tree. Would love more ramification, of course, always. Mary was um, very uh, strict in terms of she never wired her trees. So you get a very natural clip and grow look with the trees. Very, very clip and grow, but really nice. Comes up really well. Again, ramification would be awesome if it was a bit more. Trees all around are good sizes. Main trunk is really good. Nice pot. Looks like a, obviously a Japanese pot. But very nice. Going in the left way, which is usually most other most groups I find always go to the right. This one's going to the left, so really good. Leaf size is good. As a, as you say, deciduous trees in spring they're just popping everywhere, so not a bad hawthorn. So another deciduous group is a European beech, created by Arthur as well. From eight trees are at 1987. Now beeches are always slow to pop at this time of year. So that you can see the buds all starting to get swollen as of course but not yet not yet to pop now let's examine this group pot the pot Very pot's nice. excellent choice for this group nice white shallow pot looks really good my only issue is this front tree here well there's lots of great ramification on this side of the tree beautiful ramification great for this time of year um about to pop maybe a bit more ramification on this side should be but that just takes time it should be actually pretty good but this this front tree um it's just oh, poaching the eye a little bit i uh, don't know 100 percent why it was put in that place but it looks i mean overall the composition is good it's just when you look at it that front tree pokes you a bit um not sure if you can move it in any ch any chance but um it is what it is overall good group there's a lot of ramification on this right side probably um where that tree could have gone there that middle tree could have gone in that spot there um, but other than that really beautiful group and lots of great ramification all right let's have a look at some of these chinese elms this is by Ai Hongling from melbourne i really know him very well um chinese elm started in 1984 he's passed away now he used to love doing um elms and it's like a that are trees growing through the rock. Now, if we can, we can't really look into this, but I'm pretty confident that that tree actually is inside that rock. He was renowned for putting trees through rocks. Um, he did demos at the club about that as well. So these little elms on the side, on the back, really beautiful. He was he was really talented at doing this. He's always planting these tiny little trays of some sort. More pinging, I guess, but really, really stunning. All right, this is another Hong Lin tree that I know of. I remember this tree being in the collection many years ago uh, at the Bonta Northwest Collection. Traded 1984. Very pinging style Chinese pot. Pinging style trees. Very nice, if, especially if you like pinging. Um, not purely bonsai in my eyes, because I like deciduous trees looking deciduous. Um, but this is nice pinging style. Very good ode to Hong Lin. 
This is how he grew all these trees and did a great job growing them. All right, now this is a famous tree by Max Lay. Max Lay created it many years ago. I remember him displaying this in Melbourne many times in 1987. Looks like it's been recently repotted. I can see sphagnum moss at the top with a nice, beautiful tray, cream tray. Now, ramifications, very excellent. Broom style, very, very, very good tree. Coming into a leaf, you see how small the leaves are. Keep this well trimmed. It's a very healthy tree. Nabari is amazing. Full Nabari, beautiful old trunk. Lots and lots of trunks. Now, Max even did a demo at the club once on how to grow these, how he grew these. So it's pretty amazing seeing how he would collect the trunks, cut them back, and create a really good tree. Growing, growing just the broom style. The trunks were pretty much ready. And you got them looking like this. I would love some more definition of the branching, I guess. Maybe more clumping pads together. Uh, Quentin's got some amazing trees that show that more, but beautiful. Probably one of the highlights of the exhibition for people. They all love it. Now this is a Luke Parson tree and pot. I, I definitely recognize Luke's work. It's always amazing. Well, he loves his ashes too, and he, those pots are very unique. Again, very unique pot. Really crazy, crazy looking, very interesting, crazy trunk for an ash especially. And ashes, that trunk, it's all about the trunk really. The foliage is the foliage. It's always going to be crazy and out of control. But yeah, it's about the trunk and that pot really for me. Really well kind of combined, really interesting. And gives the tree the best features of it. Foliage on ashes, you just got to continually be pinching out the, the tips to try and reduce the size of the leaf and hopefully get good ramification but this is purely about the trunk and that pot stunning here's another ash as well and it's by don de luca 1990 started now again ash with fantastic trunk definition age beautiful looks really good up in there and comes out into a big foliage mass, which is, uh, that's ashes for you. Nothing you can do except continually pinch it, cut it back and so on. Really growing ashes, I think, for the trunk and the look in winter, actually, when you've got all the ramification, it looks really good. When it's in foliage, it always looks messy. So you can see how messy it looks. Um, I'd love to see these a bit more natural in, in styling well, rather than triangular, but that, that's just my opinion. I like natural deciduous trees rather than triangular trees, but really good old bark. And of course, another Hong Lin tree, 1984. This is a group or a very pinging looking group with multiple different um, trees in there. Catania is probably a mum flowering azalea, but it's about this tree in here. Really nice, pinging style, Chinese elm, one of the better Chinese elms. Um, in Hong's collection, I think this is more natural and interesting. Um, nice, well, I guess the pot, pot fits everything into it. <laughs> nice landscaping look, there's a little house in there, etc. Um, but yeah, interesting tree. But this rounds off all the deciduous trees in the collection. So I'll finish off this video here and I hope you enjoyed it. So that's part one. Let's look, um, there'll be part two shortly um, on, on a different variety in the collection. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.